the last thing for the night. As I go to bed, I'm going to go to bed with a literary reward for you. To let you understand that this thing is really... It's not really about race. It's about land. And it's about status. That's all it's about. And a gentleman by the name of Rudyard Kipling captures it perfectly. The poem is called The White Man's Burden. It says, take up the white man's burden. Send forth the best ye breed. Go bind your sons to exile to serve your captives need. To wait in heavy harness on fluttered folk and wild. Your new caught sullen peoples, half devil and half child. Take up the white man's burden in patience to abide, to veil the threat of terror and check the show of pride. By open speech and simple, a hundred times mad plain, to seek another's profit, to work another's gain. Take up the white man's burden, the savage wars of peace. Fill full the mouth of famine and bid the sickness cease. And when your goal is nearest and the end for others sought, watch sloth and heathen folly bring all your hope to naught. Take up the white man's burden, no tawdry rule of kings, but soil of surf and sweeper, the tale of common things. The ports you shall not enter, the road you shall not tread. Go make them with your living and mark them with your dead. Take up the white man's burden and reap his old reward. The blame of those ye better, the hate of those ye guard. The cry of host you humor, ah, slowly toward the light. Why brought ye us from bondage, our loved Egyptian night, take up the white man's burden. You dare not stoop to less, nor call too loud on freedom to cloak your weariness. But all ye cry or whisper, and all ye leave or do, the silent, sullen peoples shall weigh your gods and you. Take up the white man's burden, have done with childish days, the lightly proffered laurel, the easy ungrudged praise. Come now to search your manhood through all the thankless years, cold edged with dear bought wisdom, the judgment of your peers. This poem told whites it was your responsibility to colonize those savages, focusing on the Philippines but echoing into the, in everything that the British Empire would touch. Their mindset of the white man's burden is still around today, but it's not just in the minds of the British. It's not just in the minds of the French or the Belgian. It's not just in the Rhine, minds of the German. It's even in the, the mind of the Israeli. Now I say to you, take up the black man's burden and break the yoke off your neck and march down to their headquarters, their nonsense we gonna check. Have a good night. This is Del K. Brereton in The Real Spiel. Like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend. The movement has begun.